Hi everyone, welcome to A for Autism. This video is the Autism Reversal Part Two. If you wish to watch the Part One, the link is in the description box. This video is just because I have received many questions that how vitamin D is affecting Viraj, what triggered me to take the test, and on Instagram there have been many queries about it. So first question I have been asked is how I prepared Viraj for the blood test. So we have done a lot of pretend play one week ago, and we actually showed him some videos, some photos, and used our language to. make him understand that this is how the blood test is going to happen and due to this this make believe and pretend play he was quite settled and the process of giving the blood became little easy definitely he had a lot of pain while doing it but yes he was quite stable in comparison to if it would have been an unpredictable approach So there were couple of things that triggered me, but the basic thing was that I have read in past about vitamin D, how it affects child's mental abilities, and how it can bring autism traits. And if there is a deficiency, and if supplements are given correctly, then it can reverse seventy five percent of the autism traits in a child. So this was the theory that I read. It had in my mind, and in a, in my subconscious mind, I had somewhere that I have to go for a test. But I was refraining, like you all are afraid that how my child is going to give the blood test. Same was with me. But then uh, when I saw dark circles on Virat's eyes, and there was a lot of air bubbles popping out when we were massaging him. on his back when me and my husband were doing it so my husband convinced me that you know we should go for a blood test and vitamin d was not only the one test that we went for it was tsh it was b12 and iron studies so everything came out to be normal it was just vitamin d that was critically deficient in viraj and that is how we got to know and we actually validated that may be because vitamin d is quite low in viraj so that could be the reason that he has so many autism traits and his behavior was quite unpleasant from past one and a half year it was going up and down and he was not settled he was being very cranky he was not ready to do anything uh, if we were asking him to repeat something or if we were you know asking him to study he used to get uh, quite annoyed very easily so this these were some things that i was wondering that uh, you know one and a half year ago it was quite pleasant viraj was getting stable and now all of a sudden it was happening and yes in definitely in winters the sunlight was very rare in our region so i thought that there may be something that has triggered the vitamin d deficiency i am glad that all of you have shared your personal experiences that your pediatrician or your neurologist have done this vitamin d test with the kids and it has worked out and lot of symptoms lot of traits of autism have reversed and kids have started being more communicative they are more settled appetite has increased sleeping issues have decreased so this actually made me uh, you know really really thankful to all of you that you have somehow guided me into this and i'm thankful that i've shared it on channel and now many reports are coming in many questions are coming in wherein parents are actually telling that you know after giving supplements changes are happening and some parents have reported that vitamin d was critically deficient in their child so yes this actually gives me a confidence that this is something that might reverse some of the traits of autism so many parents are asking me about the name of the medicine viraj is taking so first of all i am not a doctor and i am not a pediatrician who can advise you i am not going to give you the name of a allopathic medicine because same medicine does not work for every child because every medicine works as per the deficiency level for example i have to give this medicine to viraj once a week for 6 weeks and then there is one more medicine which i am going to give him for next 3 months and then i have to run a blood test again so you need to go to a pediatrician they will allow you uh, to have a blood test and then they will let you know what is the going to be the frequency what is going to be the international unit your child might be needing so uh, i am talking about the medicine i am not talking about the daily supplements supplements multivitamins probiotics are different from medicines you can get them without prescription but medicine is something which you should always always go to a doctor and get it i can only and only recommend multivitamin supplements fish oil and uh, probiotics to you because they are actually required by our children because some of our kids are picky eaters and 
to meet their daily value to avoid deficiency we need to give multivitamins to them also some of the parents are saying that there is sugar in the candy and we cannot give these multivitamins to our children because in autism you should avoid sugary food so you need to balance the sugar amount in your daily life for a kid who has autism or who has hyperactivity but if you give syrups and if you give other medicines they also have sugar content if you find something sugar free definitely go for it but uh, try to be little flexible because if you go into so much uh, rigidity uh, that even 0.2 gram of sugar won't be allowed to your child then i think uh, something which is being given for the betterment of a child then you should actually be little flexible for that I apologize for the background noise because Devika is playing at the back side and I had to shoot this video on an urgent basis because many queries were coming in. A lot of you are sharing your medical reports and that is why I am shooting it on an urgent basis. So absolutely sorry about it. So I hope this video is going to help you and if still you have not gone for a vitamin D test or thyroid test, please go for it. If you want what is the relation of these two with autism, I will post the link in the description box you can go ahead and watch these videos these are available in english but definitely please go for it and once again if you're trying to conceive if you're pregnant do get your vitamin d level checked also when your child is born get their vitamin d level checked there is a neonatal uh, screening that happens so ask your doctor about it before you give birth so till we meet next time take care of yourself and me and devika are signing off bye